So today we will see how to do a filter bobbin. The entire process of drilling a filter bobbin. Filter bobbins are shallow bobbins which tap into shallow unconfined aquifer in the fractured weather zone. It can go up to depth of 60 meters in Bangalore context based on the location. First a fit of 4 feet by 4 feet by 6 feet of around 2 to 3 kL will be dug to make arrangement of water supply for drilling the filter bobbin. So next the filter bobbin stand will be set up. You can see here a diesel engine will be there. Then a pump for pumping the water will be there. And then the stand with the this is the main rod which will be used for drilling. To the main rod, a drilling shaft of one and a half feet diameter by two feet depth will be fixed to the main shaft. Three pipes will, will be see, you can see the three pipes. So one pipe will be used to pump the water from the pit to the uh, drilling machine and then to the drilling bit and the third pipe is a return valve taking the water from the uh, from the world where the borewell is dug back to the pit. The same water will be circulated throughout the drilling process. The water from the pit will help to do the drilling and then, then again the return water will go back to the pit and it will be it will be circulated throughout the process. Only rarely they might be required to fill the pit with the water again. After making all this arrangement, the drilling process will start. For the three feet rod to go inside, it may take around a couple of minutes and if the soil is hard, it may take around 15 to 30 minutes also or more than that depending on the type of the soil. The three feet rods will be added one after another and the drilling will be continued till they reach depth of around 50 to 60 feet. During the drilling process, when we encounter sandy soil, the, there is a chance of wall collapsing and the drilling becomes difficult. So at that time they will add betonite clay, so which will hold the walls intact in place and will help to continue the drilling. Once the drilling is completed, the next stage will be putting the casing pipe inside the hole. So the casing pipe will be bought in a plumbing shop and slits will be made in the casing pipe to enable the water from the shallow aquifer to enter into the bore well. The first casing pipe which is going down from the ground level, it will not have any slits. So that to prevent more silt entering into the well or to prevent any surface water or the drainage water entering into the bore well. The bore well width is one and a half feet and the casing pipe is seven inch in diameter. So around the casing pipe, 20 mm gel will be filled right from the bottom to the top of the bore well. So once the casing pipe is inserted and jelly packing is done, so there will be a lot of muddy water in the bore well. So that will be pumped out with the help of an air compressor by pumping in the air and pumping out the water. This process will continue for two to three days till clear water starts coming out from the bore well. Once clear water starts coming out from the bore well, then we can put a pump in the bore well, make the necessary plumbing arrangement and start using the water for the intended use for which the bore well was dug.